Hey guys, today's the last sector. It's Exodus Garden 2A in the Cosmodrome. There's going to be two overloads and two barriers. Alright, moving into the build guide, we're going to be using Arc Strider with Gathering Storm. Our class ability is going to be Gambler's Thatch, so when we dodge near enemies, it will fully recharge our melee ability. I'm using Triple Jump, but you could use whatever jump you want. The melee is going to be Combination Blows, so we can stack damage on our melee. I'm going to use Storm Grenades, but you could use Pulse Grenades or Skip Grenades. Moving on to the aspects, let's start with Flow State. Defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. And lethal current. After dodging, our next melee will jolt targets. This is also great because if you melee a jolted unstoppable, it will blind it, causing it to stun. Moving on to fragments, we're going to have spark of resistance. While we're surrounded, we take less damage. Spark of feedback, when we take melee damage, we will deal more melee damage. Spark of ions, defeating a jolted target creates an ionic trace. And spark of shock, your arc grenade will jolt targets. For the weapons, I'm going to be using an auto rifle for the barriers, a one-two punch shotgun, and Leviathan's Breath for the boss damage as well as champion damage if needed. For the artifact, I'm going to be using Authorized Mods Melee, Dunder's Retort which makes our super deal more damage while critically wounded or amplified, Electric Armor which gives us increased damage resistance while amplified, Alien Strikes twice, after throwing an arc grenade, gain increased grenade recharge for a short time. Moving on to the mods, we're going to have two hands on on the helmet so we can get our super as fast as possible with a heavy ammo finder just for the odd chance we'll get an extra heavy brick. Two heavy handeds on the gloves so I can make larger orbs instead of the small ones from just having one mod. All these orbs that we're making are going to be used to power emergency reinforcement as well as recuperation and better already. We're going to be picking up these orbs easier with powerful attraction every time we dodge as well as the distribution to get energy back every time we dodge to proc powerful attraction. We're going to have elemental charge on the boots, so every ionic trace we pick up, that converts into armor charge. The exotic today is Assassin's Cow. Alright, moving on to the Lost Sector run. To start out, we have to kill all the adds before this wall. Once we kill everything, this door will open. And then once we kill all these shregs, it will spawn the barrier. Once the barrier dies, there will be an overload that jumps down here. There will be another overload here. Watch out for the exploding shanks. If you don't kill this overload quick enough, there is a chance that it will combine with the barrier. I'm just going to throw my super because I don't really feel like I need it for the boss because I have Leviathan's Breath in my pocket. Once we kill all these adds, the door to the boss will open up. If you prefer Tractor Cannon over Leviathan's Breath, you could probably use that as well. Except you'd want to hold your super for the boss instead of throwing it all really nearly like I did. Once you kill the boss, there's no more champions, so you can loot the chest. That's all there is to it today. Happy farming.